the 1st of February 2020, Dhaka South and North City Corporation election. After the past farcical 11th national election, another farce has been staged in the name of election, which is just a tainted chapter beyond the pale of history. After cutting the CCTV line in the center the previous night, threats in the neighborhood and showdown, the morning started with occupying the center, attacking and not allowing the agents of BNP to enter the center. I went to the polling station in the morning. Four or five of us went. They caught us and dragged us out. We are being beaten. I am BNP's agent. My name is Bahar. They slapped me on both cheeks and said, you go out. Your vote is done. I was an agent of BMP. My name is Roxana Begum. He told me to shoot him with a pistol if I didn't get out of here. I am a councillor candidate. I was going in with all the agents. From inside this gate, in front of the administration, our people were killed and taken out. Those of you who were in front with cameras, all of you saw it with your own eyes. The administration can't even know where we should go and what we should do. No one is allowed to enter. Is there anyone in this world without God? They are stealing votes by saying that they will show it inside. They show the finger to be hit like this. After that, it was the turn to throw out the voters from the center. No need to understand. Why would a child like him come to beat me? I'm coming to vote. Why not let me in? Why am I being kicked out? They are coming to kill me. But I am a voter. Why not let me vote? They are not allowing us to vote. They are suppressing us and then hides away. My name is Amina. I was coming to vote in the morning. I was not allowed to enter to vote. Now I am seeing Ishrak. My daughter said, go now you can vote. Ishrak is coming to center. My fingerprints are taken, an ID card was also taken. When it was confirmed, a girl in that black cloth went and pressed my vote into the boat. Am I so stupid that I can't vote? They forced me to vote. When we came to this center, we saw that the door was closed and something was being done with the ballot paper machine. The second episode of the drama begins with those who crossed these and reached the polling booth. Dhaka Shishu School. When I went to the street, they told me that the EVM machine was broken. You go, we will give your vote when the machine will fix. We won't let you vote. They did not allow us to vote, saying that the machine is broken. You go inside, there is trouble. They don't let us vote. I will give my vote, but they don't let me give it. They push us. They are giving their own vote marker vote, not another symbol. He is voting by tipping his hand. Which is widely highlighted in various mass media. Not another symbol of voters, but voting on the boat mark and giving it in their own hands. Some people here could not vote. I am one of those unfortunates. In the EVM where the vote is applied, someone is sitting or forcing someone else to vote. Such an incident also happened. After seeing and hearing this, voters lose interest in coming to the center. <laughs> Voting center becomes a wasteland without voters. Let's see what the domestic and foreign media are saying about this. Dummy lines are then made in empty polling stations, which is arranged with Awami League leaders and activists 
brought from Dhaka and outside Dhaka. The presence of the voter is completely different from the outside and the inside of center. If you see there are hundreds of people standing in line, let me check those people. Are you a voter? I came for vote, but yes, I have. I keep my ID card at home. This person is the Awami League Party mayor of Patuakali. He also brought his fleet to steal the votes of Dhaka, which is caught in the foreign media. However, the question is, how did this mayor vote in the EVM? It take only one or two minutes to cast my vote. Before the election, BNP had complained that Awami League was conspiring to take over the polling station by bringing party leaders from outside Dhaka. The presence of the mayor of Patuakali is proof of this. This was the outside picture. Now let's come to the story inside the polling booth. While outside is a wasteland without voters, the opposite is true inside. The polling booths were crowded with people wearing boat badges. Even in the secret booth behind the curtain surrounded by black cloth, those vote stealers were sitting as ghosts. As soon as the fingerprints of the voters are matched, those people come forward in the name of cooperation. We are committee people. We are the people of our candidate Tapas. On behalf of Tapas, we are here. No one had a chance not to. They have been forced to vote in boat. I go to vote, also give fingerprint. The voting place is the room surrounded by black cloth. Some local people entered there with me, then they gave my vote. Then they say you leave. I said, why should I go? They said I helped you. I said, I don't need any help because I know how to vote in EVM, I'm an engineer by profession. However, my vote was given by someone else, but see my signature there. Everyone will think that I cast my vote. In fact, I do not have a headache about whether the Awami League won the BNP. But it is common that our right to vote is our opportunity, this is the right to vote. That we cannot give. It's really sad. I was thinking that I will do something from the country, now I see that I cannot stay in this country. Now come to EVMs. This is a lucky break for the no voters. Most of the voters' fingerprints did not match. One by one, after the frustrated voters left, their votes were casted by the officials there. Not a single machine is turning on. I can't vote. Now it says the machine is broken. Many EVMs do not have the symbol of a BNP. BNP mayoral candidate Ishraq Hossein has raised his complaint several times in the media. When the news of taking over the center and forcing the vote started to come, the mayoral candidate of the South, Ishraq Hossein, immediately came out. As soon as they reached the centers, the harassed agents and voters rushed to voice their grievances. Now we are receiving complaints that polling agents are not allowed inside and the voters are allowed to enter. And he says that he has kept the internal situation under control. But the voters will enter through the gate. Now if the gate is occupied and they are not allowed to come, then what is it? You have the same responsibility as law enforcement. In many centers who could not vote, the news of Ishraq Hussein's arrival gave those voters courage. So they started protesting in front of the center to protect their rights. Agents and voters got a chance to enter the polling station after Ishraq Hossein's presence in several centers. Later, they were thrown out again as soon as they heard he had left. 
Hearing such complaints, Ishraq Hossein again went to that center and re-entered the voters and agents. He also called for the suspension of voting in various centers. The senior leaders said that they are trying to take over the center. He has to take responsibility. Following his words, this kind of incident is happening. Now you postpone it. You have to suspend the center or we will not go. We will stay in strike. Journalists are tortured when they go to take pictures of this news. At least half a hundred were injured. Many journalists are fighting with death due to serious injuries. Awami League leaders and activists have been seen publicly practicing with sharp weapons, sticks and firearms. All the opponents are attacked with it. Be it polling agents, candidates or voters, even journalists are attacked with these weapons. Is this the atmosphere of the election day? That means it is clear that the declarations of the Awami League leaders before the elections were only a reflection. Not only these leaders violated the code of conduct, their party prime minister, Sheikh Hasina, was also not left out. I hope people of Dhaka will vote for the Awami League candidate by voting for the board. Here are some clips of the 1st of February vote. In fact, these incidents happened in almost every polling station. The government and the election commission have failed to fulfill the expectation of people of Dhaka. I went to those booths and saw in some booths where election officials and vote agents were guiding the voters. I asked some people why they are doing these things. At that time they could not give any good answer. They say that many do not understand how to vote in the EVMs properly as they enter the room surrounded by black cloth to assist them. In the reader survey conducted by various media, although he was leading by 80 to 90 percent of the votes. But on the day of the election, the mayoral candidate of BNP was shown to be defeated by changing the results through fraud. As well as changing the voting results, several council candidates who won were defeated. Through this farce, it has been proved that another national or local government election in Bangladesh is not possible in a free and peaceful way through the present government and their loyal blind election commission.